What's up guys, welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it is all about classic bodybuilding. And it's been a while since I've trained shoulders, it's probably been two to three months since I've had a separate shoulder day, so it was due time, I did one again, and we are starting off with a superset, so I'm doing it a little different this time, starting off with the superset of the side lateral raise that you just saw with the wide grip upright row. Now, why this wide grip upright row and not the medium grip? The wide grip ensures that you hit your side delts in combination with the side lateral raise you did with the dumbbells. Trust me, during this exercise, you will feel the side delts burning. So what I like to do, a lot of people like to go heavy on these exercises such as the side lateral raise right here, but I actually like to go light but with more volume. That's why you saw that in my first set I do 20 reps and then 15 reps, still quite high. The reason why I do this is to really pump up the side delts. It's a small muscle. If you use a heavy weight, your traps will be involved in pulling the weight. Now this here is a compound movement, which means the biceps and the front delts and even the traps are helping. But most of the stress is on the side delts because you're having a wide grip. And this changes the emphasis from the front delts to the side delts. And then a very good exercise in my opinion to really isolate the side delts, the incline side dumbbell lateral raise. Put your seat at about 45 degrees and put your uh, leg behind like I'm doing right there so you can actually go down with the dumbbell as far as possible. And then you will feel a constant tension on the side delts because of the angle. When you stand up and your arm is straight down, there's no tension on your shoulder because you're simply holding the weight, it's more on your traps. But when you're laying in an inclined position like this, that means that the tension is shifted and it will cause your muscles to fatigue a lot faster if you do it like this. And the faster your muscles fatigue using the same movement, the better it will respond to growth. This, by the way, is an exercise that was done in the golden era, of course. I actually learned this exercise from watching uh, footage of Arnold Schwarzenegger and seeing some of the pictures that he did for side delts. Um, I just tried it out and the moment that you try this exercise out, you can you realize the difference between a standing side lateral raise and this one. So I urge you, if you have lagging side delts especially, to try it out. And right now it's time to hit another part of the shoulders, the front delts. And we're going to do this by combining two exercises again. We want to get a very nice pump in the shoulders. We don't want to overload it with a lot of weight. We don't want injuries. We want growth, roundness, fullness. And that's what you can get if you do supersets like this with correct form and time under tension. By the way, the reason why I start out with side delts is because those are my weak point in comparison to the front and the rear. The side delts can always get bigger. But the rear delts, they kind of, when you hit a side chest, overtake the pose and actually make your chest look smaller. And the front delts are already trained when I'm doing chest. I never usually train the front delts at all. So the size that I have right now is purely because of the training I do on chest days. For me personally, that is enough. But I always like to get a nice pump in them on shoulder day. So, here I was doing front raises with an easy curl bar, superset it, after the dumbbell version. 
And the Easy Curl Bar version, trust me, is again a very difficult one compared to the dumbbells. The dumbbells you can use a little momentum, you do one shoulder at a time so the weight can't really go that high. Again guys, don't use a heavy weight on these small isolation movements. There is no use to do this. It will only activate different muscles. But when you do a compound movement however, like this, you can go a little heavier. And now it is time for the shoulders on the back of your body, the rear delts. A lot of people neglect their rear delts. Be honest, when you think about shoulders, you think about shoulder presses, military press, maybe a side lateral raise, but almost no one thinks of reverse flies or rear delt flies as I'm doing right here. Trust me, if you ever have shoulder issues and you wonder why, when you feel your shoulders during bench press or any other exercise, why that shoulder is hurting, it's mostly because the front delts are overtaking the entire shoulder compared to the rear delts. They are pulling harder on the joint, and that's why it creates a disbalance, and that's why you will feel the pain. Personally, I do rear delts at the end of the workout because for me, my rear delts are pretty developed already. I don't have any shoulder pains anymore. I used to have them, but when I trained more rear delts, they disappeared. So I started out with side delts because that's my personal weak point. If your weak point is the rear delts, start out with the rear delts and always an isolation movement to get the blood in that tiny muscle. Right here you can really see the rear delts popping and that's what I want you to see for yourself when you're doing an exercise like this. You can do this purely almost with the traps but you want to activate the rear delts. You really gotta feel that point contraction that you feel when contracting the rear delts. You don't just want an overall burning sensation in your upper back, you really want the rear delts to fire up. And I personally like to do a lot of reps on the rear delt exercises as well because, as I mentioned, when it's a small muscle you want to expand its size by getting a pump that's unbelievable in that muscle, right? When you're doing legs you're really not searching, looking, wanting the pump. Of course you will feel it, but it's such a big muscle it will grow if you go heavy. However, when you're doing small exercises, when you go too heavy, you simply won't isolate that muscle when doing the exercise. That is the problem. So that's why I like to start out with an isolation movement when it's my weak point. And now we move over to the rear delt rows. This is a very good one for the traps and the rear delts, but again, as you can see, the rear delts are popping and that means I'm using those muscles to pull the weight. Now you can see right here that I'm of course using the traps as well, but I'm consciously doing that because the traps for me are kind of a weak point or I just want to make them bigger. Now how you want to do this exercise is you want to go on such a machine like this. You can also actually do this on a bench and on an incline but then with dumbbells. Uh, kind of what I did at the beginning of this rear delt exercises but no flies but you just pull it upwards and contract the rear delts. But I like this exercise because it allows you to go heavier yet maintain a correct form. And that was the shoulder portion of the workout. I decided to do some triceps afterwards because this was actually my chest day, but I decided I wanted to do a shoulder day. And usually I do the triceps on chest day and I cannot neglect them. Why? Because the triceps can never be big enough. 
And that's why I'm doing this variation of the exercise. I'm bending over as well to really hit the long head of the triceps. By bending over like this, you actually automatically stretch the long head, which causes it to be under a greater stress. And that's what we want. And then to finish off this workout, some overhead dumbbell extension. Again, anything overhead is for the long head. But this one is also a little bit for the medial head. So when you want to work on arm thickness, when you want to work on building your triceps, you want to do a lot of overhead exercises. The rope pushdown, for example, is not suited to really build up the tricep thickness. Well, for the details, it is like the small head of the triceps. But if you want to build the mass, a lot of concentrated, heavy, stretchy movements such as the overhead dumbbell extension will make those triceps grow a lot more and after this i'm supersetting it with a finisher some body weight dips trying to uh, hit as many dips as i can until i don't feel my triceps anymore and then we're done with the workout i hope you enjoyed it a lot of people requested a shoulder workout so here it is I want you to try it out, try some of the supersets out, and let me know what you think. And don't forget to stay golden. Here are actually some supplements that I like to take uh, throughout the day. Uh, first of all, let's start here. A rich piano supplement. And the reason why I got this is because Body and Fashion has this supplement. And it 